Hey, welcome to Sprint 21, uh, the collective farming sprint. And it has been a, quite the collective. We have, uh, we have some amazing news for, for this, but uh, I guess I'll, we'll just share screen and I'll get right into it. Oh man, I can feel it. I'm sitting down. I don't have the same mojo as usual, uh, but let's, let's share a screen. Uh, I'm sitting down because I'm at a Starbucks. Uh, I've been uh, living in a van, uh, hanging out in Denver. Uh, meeting all the cool people that are hanging in Denver, uh, hung out with Owaki. We talked, we talked a lot about bonding curves and hang out with John Palmer from Denver and Willie from Shapeshift and really talking with the Dow space and getting everyone excited about the hatch, which uh, has done incredibly well. We have $1.283 million in the hatch. The first common stack commons, uh, the first Commons using the common stack design is a huge success. We raised over a million dollars to fund public goods and uh, micro economy. So this is just incredible news uh, and hard to hard to talk about anything else. Uh, one thing that I think has helped us push this up was a community uh, community event to uh, create a NFT for the top ten participants, the top ten uh, Wrapped X Die contributors. We'll get this awesome NFT. Uh, looks like you already need almost forty thousand dollars to get one. Uh, man, the NFT space is wild, right? But you know, if you're going to contribute anywhere near uh, that amount of money, you might as well try to tip it up so you get that uh, NFT on top of all of your TEC tokens. Uh, so yeah, uh, very exciting and uh, so happy to have such a successful way to start off this off this trip. But uh, I'll pass it to Tam to uh, talk about collective farming. Cool. So uh, kudos, as always, to uh, Ivy for coming up with her great uh, names for all of our sprints. And this is Sprint 21 Collective Farming. We've been, we've been doing sprints for 42 weeks. That's amazing. So congratulations to us for our, our lucky number 42. Um, so collective farming, uh, as Ivy explained to me and as I, as I looked up a little bit, is essentially when people collaborate to raise crops together or to, for any kind of enterprise that uses shared land or water resources, machinery, equipment. So what better name for our, uh, the end of our TEC hatch than uh, collective farming? Uh, I've been thinking about our hatch today. I go to this, okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get into a long story, but uh, I do swimming now. So I've been meditating while I'm swimming and I've been thinking about like, how did we get here again? What happened? We flew past the minimum raise uh, sort of in these last days. And you know, it was just somebody's idea of um, that this can happen. So I think Zargum and Griff and Jeff who really uh, made this made like built like created the seed that then they sowed and was taken up with other people following this vision seeing this vision as well and then executing on what they were what they had uh, hoped we could achieve and I think it couldn't have happened without this specific configuration of humans uh, you know Griff and Jeff and Zargam and Livia who is the heart of the cultural build and Jess and her heart and ecosystem development Chris and Ikeni for uh, common stack comms um, of course, Eleanor Ostrom and all of the people who championed the commons way before any of us existed or, uh, or, or um, yeah, or we're here. Uh, all the stewards in the TEC who have been so dedicated and so um, focused and so passion driven, who've kept things going week by week, uh, who continue to work with each other with such respect and harmony and generosity and gratitude that it's just a, priv a privilege every day to work with with all of us here. And then of course, all of the super con power contributors who aren't stewards, but uh, who, who, um, who show up, who contribute, who have a lot to share and uh, bring a lot of meaning to the, to the TEC. And all of it ends up uh, now that we've achieved this hatch where we're gonna definitely launch. Um, we did a great job. There's so much more to do. This is actually really just the beginning and we're on to the next phase now. So one of these things that, um, you know, are such surprising um, things that happen is people end up uh, contributing in interesting ways. Uh, somebody wanted to translate articles, key articles from Common Stack and TEC into Chinese. Uh, his name is Sean. And so he translated a few of our articles into Chinese. And um, when Ivy praised him for doing these translations, somebody volunteered to then take the same articles and translate them into Turkish. So it seems like the sort of like 
the snowball effect <laughs> where um, now the TEC is starting to look at maybe launching a working group around link, uh, translation services. So choosing articles that should be translated and then having uh, teams maybe set bounties for translation services and then having them translated and stored someplace uh, where people can come and find all of these great works and it opens up to a much wider audience. I also want to say that uh, the talk that Livia and I did at um, uh, the Taoist in Paris is live on YouTube. In fact, you can go and see all of the Taoist uh, talks. So uh, the video was not, um, there's a technical difficulty Hello, and the video was not saved, but uh, Guil um, very coolly took the slides and then matched the audio to the slides. So there is, there's definitely that. Um, and I want to say thank you to Guil, to Felipe, and to Odd uh, for organizing the Taoist and for allowing us to participate there. I hear rumors the next one is going to be in Lisbon pretty soon. So uh, if it's something that interests you, uh, check it out. And that's it. I took a little vacation uh, after ETH CC, and I'm back, and I'm really excited to be back. So I will pass to Livia from here. Thanks for sharing all of that, Tim. And so today we just uh, came back, uh, Jess, Jeff and I from uh, the governance event and Jess is gonna expand a little on that, but um, I wanna talk about the reward systems working group that we are spinning in the common stack. Uh, and this comes with so many insights from the token engineering commons of uh, how we need to look more deeper into the data of our reward systems. And uh, all of the process that we've been through provided so many insights for how we can improve the pre system and how uh, it can be interoperable with other systems like source cred. And this opens like, um, this opens infinitely to looking into many other reward systems like Metacred, like Coordinate, uh, and seeing what are what are the data from uh, these projects um, being uh, ready to show us now. So uh, we're gonna have an event to kick off this working group uh, from the governance, and it's gonna be uh, next September 10th at 5 p.m. Uh, Europe time. So uh, we're gonna have a panel and we're gathering now people from um, uh, that are in the forefront of these reward systems and have a discussion and see what are the challenges we can start tapping into. So that's gonna be exciting. And then another thing I wanted to share is how we've been onboarding more people into the case studies. So uh, the common stack has been doing these case studies and the token engineering comments to see what are the learnings and practices that uh, would be um, beneficial for other communities to use. So from this, we're uh, learning and creating, um, and soon we're gonna start creating templates that other communities can use. So uh, we onboarded Kelsey this week uh, she's a researcher and collaborates with Block Science, and she has a lot of experience to guide us on um, curating all of the information that we have that Atha uh, worked so much on to produce and gather. So uh, Jess was also onboarded, and she's going to be contributing with uh, editing and scaffolding, and uh, also Katie, uh, Nate, uh, we shared already that he has been onboarded to but also Katie that uh, has been doing amazing work in the TEC and uh, she's a very skilled writer and is coming in to help us with that. So uh, yeah, those are the news from, from my side and I'll pass to Chris. Awesome, thanks Libby. Uh, yeah, the uh, few different updates from comms uh, from this sprint. Uh, as you may have noticed, a lot of this sprint was uh, dedicated to Hatch Communications. Um, so you probably saw a few different emails coming into your inbox and hopefully they were informative. We actually had pretty good uh, response rates or at least uh, engagement rates for those emails. To The emails that went to our activated trusted seed were both over 50% open rates, which is actually pretty massive. 
Um, and even our unactivated uh, emails were around 25 to 35% uh, open rates for both of them. So thank you guys for all taking the time to uh, read the, the stuff that we send you and get engaged. Um, yeah, really appreciate that. Uh, we've been working on multiple Discord improvements. There's a few bots that are going to be coming soon to add additional functionality, um, particularly in onboarding and um, uh, making sure that uh, people have ways that they can get involved um, and kind of find the information to get uh, onboarded. So uh, look for that coming soon. We also have a guest blog that has now taken shape. Uh, we're looking to publish it hopefully next week. Um, and if you are interested in writing a guest blog, get in touch with us. We'd love to have more content coming from our community um, on our blog. Uh, let us know what you're working on. Let us know uh, how you see kind of the things that you're uh, that we're doing uh, from your perspective. Any anything you'd like to contribute, let us know, and we can we can get working on it together. Um, this sprint, we also brought uh, the junior gardeners into the comms loop. So welcome, Maria and Yanesi. Uh, thank you so much for getting involved with uh, helping us with our comms uh, side of things as well. Um, and we've also been working on, as a team, uh, an updated mission statement and comms. So this is going to lead to a, an overall communications refresh. So again, if you if there's a phrase or a concept or something that you uh, you know of that has really communicated the the meaning of the common stack and our mission really well, let us know and we can try and integrate that. Um, we'd love to have some more community um, integration with. Uh, how we evolve our comms and uh, how we continue to tell our story. Um, and that includes you. So we would love to hear uh, what you have to say on that too. Uh, and really that's uh, that's kind of where we're at and on comms uh, for this sprint. So I will pass to Jess. You muted Jess. That working? Oh no, our internet's having some challenges. I'll even come back. Can you hear me? Okay. We can hear you now. Oh, great. Okay. I just pulled out my headphones. Uh, yeah, so uh, on an island here in British Columbia, so the internet is a little unstable. So I'm going to shut off my video and just share that um, I just finished writing a grant um, to our partners at uh, One Project. Um, they're in Silicon Valley and they want to regenerate some of that um, funding into um, Changemaker projects in Web3. So that was um, a big project that I just finished. So we're looking forward to hopefully um, securing some more sustainable funding to continue to grow the organization. And then I'll share screen for a couple of things to show. Um, also wanted to share some some work of some others in the space. Uh, but first, Livia had kind of touched on governance. So this morning we had an incredible two hour session um, with um, the governance, who's a mix of TE Academy. So Angela, Natalia, uh, Shearer, and um, one of the uh, folks with Medigov, Eugene Leventhal and Renzo D'Andrea, and then a bunch of community members that came to uh, chat about this 12 work research initiative that we're talking about for October and leading up to that uh, research group will be having some events as well, um, as Livia mentioned. So you can stay tuned and have a look on our Twitter where we have a link here. If you're interested in governance research, um, we're doing co-programming to figure out the structure of how we can uh, create more uh, shared learnings and best practices and, and uh, looking at um, governance design and, and some of the challenges and uh, solutions or tools that we're finding useful in developing different um, governance layers in our in our communities. So you can find this link to sign up if you're interested to pre-register for that um, research group. And then I wanted to show off work of a colleague at Block Science Barada who created this incredible CAG map, computer-aided governance, how we use computers and data science to um, improve our systems and how to look at iterative um, 
governance processes. So this is an excellent resource. He's also developed a Git book. So you can also find that we shared that and retweeted Block Science on our Twitter if you wanted to look deeply. Highly, highly recommend taking a look for systems designers at um, this wonderful resource he's created and library of um, how to and um, how to improve processes. And then the final two uh, bits were um, some really interesting templates um, Zargum was working on for Gitcoin DAO and looking at mapping the system. So uh, part of the challenge is to have a compass or a map so that everybody can see how the system works, where they are in the system, um, how to have agency and voice um, in the system and, and looking at the functions of the DAO. So it's an interesting template that other communities or DAOs um, commons can be using to map their systems. So Zargum did um, this one for the ecosystem level, and I did one for the working group, one for Actal layer below. So I'll be sharing these links below um, here on YouTube. And last mention is finalizing our community staking DAO partnership with Regen still. It takes a lot of work to raise a community staking DAO. And I'll pass to Jeff, who will also be announcing another exciting upcoming partnership. Awesome. I think my internet's working. Cool. Okay, let me just find my proper screen here. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Um, so yeah, so uh, first announcement uh, is the upcoming uh, potential Trusted Seed crossover with uh, Ixo uh, Foundation, and um, they're launching a new um, kind of knowledge commons called Earth State. Uh, really cool opportunity to uh, share um, all of the learnings and all of the research going on in the Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, they're really focusing on uh, regener sustainable regenerative DeFi uh, and the impact economy and how we can augment that using um, tokenization. Um, so really exciting collaborations going on in the, in the ecosystem there, particularly with uh, Ixo. Uh, and Regen Foundation. Um, huge praise to Sean Conway, uh, who really wants to uh, work with the Common Stack and with the Trusted Seed and all of the uh, fantastic work going on uh, in our ecosystem. We really want to, to merge and um, have uh, you know information sharing and uh, resource sharing, tool sharing across these ecosystems. So excited to bring that opportunity to the Trusted Seed uh, when we get that all worked out. Um, another really exciting uh let's see here exciting update from uh actually the one hive community and a massive praise to uh, sam and luke duncan here walking the talk with computers uh on uh modeling these for one hive luke did this a while he implemented the policy um sam has been going in and editing um policy uh, those policies and modeling sort of different uh, outcomes and suggesting updates to this policy so this is kind of computer-aided governance in the wild it's a really really interesting uh, opportunity uh, to use these tools and explore how we can uh, make better decisions for our digital communities using them um, and good news this month uh, i finally sorted out our um, uh, zero knowledge zk stuck funds uh, from the past Gitcoin rounds, uh, and there's some more funds available to uh, continue modeling uh, with the Luna Swarm. So really excited to dig back into that with some of the uh, hardcore uh, one, one Hive devs and computer-aided governance experts. Um, another interesting uh, bit of research that we are working on uh, is a higher dimensional bonding curve. Uh, it's actually a 2n plus 1 dimensional bonding curve that we are working on. Um, really interesting stuff, and it ties in not just um, purchases and, uh, and like entering and exit the bonding curve, but also the productivity that takes place within the system uh, and builds that into the pricing algorithm. So really interesting stuff uh, going on in that collaboration. And can I move this? I need to uh, shift my tab here. Hang on a moment. There we go. Uh, final update was uh, Jess and I are on Cortez Island and we met with uh, Paul Stamets and his partner, Dr. Pam. Uh, last week, and we're going to catch up with them again and tour their uh, permaculture garden. Um, really exciting collaboration spinning up with the Paul Stamets team over at Fungi Perfecti. Uh, we're going to be uh, working on the crypto commons to save the bees. Uh, so Paul Stamets has a really fascinating um, new uh, mycelium sugar water solution that protects bees and vaccinates them against colony collapse disorder. 
uh, and we're going to be working on uh, a token model to help uh, to fund the uh, production and distribution of these beef feeders to schools, to citizen scientists, to uh, beekeepers, and uh, all sorts of uh, groups around the world that can use these tools to help fight against uh, colony collapse disorder and all of the ecological crises that come uh, with the with the declining bee populations. So really excited to be here, excited to be working with Paul Stamets uh, and the Fungi Perfecti team, uh, and we'll have lots more to share about that uh, moving forward. Um, and for now, I will pass it over to Dan. Hello, hello. Oh my God, I want to say the bees, man. <laughs> that got me excited. That's really fun. I mean, that's, that's beautiful to think about. I mean, I people talking about the small drones, that's not the way, you know? So anyway, Drosted Seeds, that's, we have some fun things to share. Like right now we are 273 active members in the Trusted Seed. Can you believe that? And the crazy thing is like, uh, since the hatch opened, we had 59 new members. So that's, that's beautiful. I mean, that's, that's, that's such a short amount of time. So many people activated uh, since the hatch opened just as well, like, uh, 159 trusted seed members who had contributed to it. And we had a total of 99 applications to the trusted seed as a whole, excluding like uh, duplicate applicants and, and, you know, like faulty applications and whatnot. It's 70 successful applications to the trusted seed. And well, yeah, you know, like the trusted seed is growing and that feels really fine. That feels really beautiful. Now, uh, so thinking about gardening a little bit, let me show you. Something fun we had, of course, like I, I presented it to you in the last review call. We had Genesi and Maria Fernanda Maffer joining, joining the Trusted Seed as junior gardeners. And they've been doing a great job. They've been like proposing new ideas, how to make the workflows and hotspot, uh, you know, to send notifications and the spreadsheets. Like we really need to get Griff on a call to talk about the spreadsheets because they had a lot of ideas. So let me show you something fun that they put together. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I minimize this thing so it's, I have no idea how to share now. Okay, let me show you this beauty. So Jeff was asking us about like how many scholarships we had done since the beginning of time. And we had that number is 57, just you can see them right here by month. And now there's this something, and, and this is excluding the core team. And the fun thing that we are doing right now, uh, well, they are doing right now, kind of like a pet project kind of fun thing. It's just looking at how many activations we had got per month versus, you know, how many scholarships we had given. So that's something fun to think about. We'll have that probably for the next spring. So yeah, and they they just went overboard and did something beautiful, play with given data. So this is coming together. The other thing I can show you is that we sent the C stack increase notification on August 11th. You had more C stack, that means you can put more more Brabex die into the hatch. And yeah, having more C stack is always fun. So anyway, we had this CPA down here for the hatch. That's fun. And something else that we were doing is looking again at Orbit. So you can see, I mean, we connected Orbit to Discord the other time in a, in a phone call with Chris, and we're looking at uh, and beautiful things. You can see the activities of people going over all, all across the ecosystem through Twitter and Discord and GitHub. So basically, oh, well, this is, for, I've, been, I've been taking care of a lot of troubleshooting, so I'm, it seems I'm the most active <laughs> person right now in our channels and Chris is there as well an innovator man praise innovator he's everywhere he's having beautiful conversations and Anna Marie just as well this is a praise list in itself Akere and Maffer and, and Tran who just activated Alex Corrin Adams you know it, this is beautiful and we have this this other list down here that I had no idea this is something new and we had like new and promising people coming to our channel. So this is fun. You know, I'm not going to show the drift in a way one, but anyway, that's there as well. So that's it for me right now. Oh, I had, um, I don't have my plans because I'm not in Caracas, but look at this beauty. This is a Calatea. This is in the Gibbet house. And also right now I'm the steward for the Gibbet house. Look at this, man. I organize all the shirts, you know? You can come over here. If by any chance you're in the trusted seat, you're in Europe, you want to hang out in Barcelona, you're welcome. Just pin somebody in the team and they will let me know. Pin me directly and come over and hack with us down here. So yeah, that's me. I'm going to the cannon. 
Thanks, Dan. So um, throughout the sprint, we focused a lot of our time uh, pushing and supporting TEC uh, during the Hatch. But the most important thing that I want to talk about here is how amazing you guys have been on our LinkedIn. Our LinkedIn page has been lit <laughs> throughout this. So we have 80 unique visitors. That's like 14% increase from the very last sprint we were here. And then um, we have um, 24 new followers on our LinkedIn page. That's a 200 increase. Like you guys are just bringing it on and then following with the conversation and engaging with the post on LinkedIn. That's like amazing. And then for the very first time, we have 1,900K impressions. That's 168% impression increase from the very first time, uh, from the very last time we were here. So keep bringing the energy, keep coming up. And then do remember to mention Common Stack when you're pumping or when you're tweeting. And do remember to go check us out on LinkedIn. It's Common Stack. And we also have a Facebook page. It's been amazing. You guys are coming on gradually. So let's get more people. Let's tell our friends and make sure we bring more audience onto this platform. So I'll pass it back now to Griff. Wow, so much going on this week. It's so wild. I guess I guess it's the end of the the hatch, and and this is uh, this is to be expected. But still, always mind blowing to see how much is happening every week. Uh, and it's not just us on the call. We're really a community driven organization. So uh, I'm gonna, as I end every call, all the people who helped make this happen this sprint. Kevin, Owaki, Willie, John Pollard, Austin for hosting me in their driveway and letting me shower in their house, uh, making the, the trip around Denver possible. Lauren for helping me, helping me find Wi-Fi and drive the crazy RV. Uh, Ivy for helping me helping us uh, do so much in the background, naming, uh, naming every sprint, setting up the review call, helping with emails, uh, coordinating the translators. She's just such a rock star. Uh, filling in for Tam while she was on vacation and supporting us. Zargum for his awesome bonding curve research and just in general inspiring everything that we're doing on both the cultural and technical side. In fact, uh, Elnor Ostrom, uh, rest her soul, uh, for inspiring Zargum who departed uh, her knowledge to us. Thank you, Zargum, again. Uh, Seven Paulo for leading the common swarm and making the hatch possible. Uh, Sean for translating everything into Chinese and our Turkish uh, community member who is putting the common stacks work out to our friends in Turkey. Great work, uh, Felipe, Felipe, Chewy, Inga, and the rest of the Dallas crew for hosting the Common Stack so strongly and giving us a, speaking, a couple of speaking slots, even short notice. Uh, James Waugh, Angela, Natalia, Eugene, Renzo for their governance work, governance work and uh, supporting us in that effort. Dandelion and the rest of the source card community for their incredible work. Mateo Santi and their uh, and all the rest of the the, the multi sig that's working on source cred. Uh, Atta and Nathan for their work on the case studies, and now Kelsey and Suga for jumping in the mix with them. Uh, Anna Marie for writing so many blogs and forum posts about the cultural side of things, bringing so much good content into our community. Uh, Maria and Yunese. Uh, sorry, Yanesi, uh, for jumping into the trusted seed gardening work and already diving in, improving our spreadsheets. This is hero's work uh, to manage all of this data. Um, and Vi Vi V, Wonka, Zeptimus, Mitch, Lauren, and Nuggin, uh, and Mateo for the epic memes in the TEC meme channel. Uh, so good. Uh, Evan and Justin and the entire One Project team for funding community governance research and inviting us to participate in that. Barada for his epic, all the epic work that he's done with block science and, and just like for the last several years, Barada is the most tireless cheese pirate the world has ever seen. Uh, Greg and the Regen team for always working with us uh, and to, to like take Regen, not Degen. Uh, and, and bring that meme into the, into the forefront with Kevin Owaki and the rest of the crew. Sean Conaway for hosting me on his show and all the work he's done with IXO and, and pushing alpha bonds and, and impact economies. Uh, Lisa Tan for uh, is also hosting me on her show and building an amazing economics design community. Sam and Luke for their token engineering work around dynamic issuance, which is so cool. Uh, the ZK Sync team for making it easy for DAOs to get their money out of the roll-up. Uh, Paul Stamets, of course, and Dr. Pam for working so hard to save the bees and their commitment to bring fungus more among us and to address so many environmental issues with that magic. All of the new members who have act activated since the hatch opened, 59 new members. Innovator for just being everywhere. Like, how do you, I, that's amazing that you're coming up higher than most of the team on, on our system. Great work. Uh, Lorelei, Arno, and Franco for helping steward the Giveth Home with Dan. Uh, the 80 commun community members that are jumping into our LinkedIn and, and building a community there. 
And of course, Octopus for jumping into the reward system team and helping us uh, really nail down that system. And uh, thanks, Olivia, for adding that one. And thank you guys for watching our, our roundup. Uh, the this. Uh, Sprint 21 has been a huge success, probably the biggest, most successful sprint that we've ever had. We have our first Commons launching, and it really couldn't be done without you guys. Thank you for participating and, and jumping into our community and, and helping build micro economies around public goods. Uh, thank you guys, and we'll see you in two weeks.